recording on my computer and we are set to go. So welcome everybody to um, Art 195 and Art 195B. We have both the um, introductory and advanced class um, this semester. I'm doing things a bit different. Um, you guys are guinea pigs once again. Since we are still relatively new to teaching this class um, remotely, you know, then we have to, you know, do things a little bit differently. Um, when we've uh, offered the class in, you know, the classroom, we have used LightWave as the principal software. But um, because it is a little bit expensive and it might be a bit taxing for everyone, um, we're trying to make um, adjustments for that. Um, uh, LightWave can be downloaded as a trial version for free. Um, you have 30 days to use it. And um, that's what we're gonna start with. And uh, I, I will talk about that more. But um, what I did last semester, what I'm gonna do this semester is different from last in that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split the semester in half. Um, so the first half of the semester, we're going to work in LightWave and you'll need to download the trial version. Um, and then um, in the second half of the semester, we're gonna to switch to Blender. Blender is open source, it's free. And um, there are lots of excellent tutorials online on YouTube that I have created a, a, a playlist and um, you'll be working in, in that. So you'll have experience of working in both LightWave and Blender, two different software packages, um, both very similar and yet very different from one another. Okay. Um, again, if you have questions, raise your hand or have a put a question in the chat or um, the Q&A, um, or if you wish to speak, I can turn your microphone on. Okay, so let's, um, how to get in touch with me. Let's, let's start with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna share my screen. And I gotta turn this off. So the easiest way to get in touch with me and as you um, already know, since you are here, is to go to my website. And my website is kmart66.com. Um, and this is what you see. Okay, it's actually multiple websites. It is my personal website with all of my, uh, my artwork and my resume and that sort of thing. I also have another website linked to this with a gallery of my um, experimental art and that sort of thing. Um, in addition to that, um, I have a blog, which I don't really um, uh, put new information in there that often. But what I want to focus on right here are Kirk's classes. Okay, this is where you can receive a lot of information in addition to going to Canvas. So if we go to Kirk's classes, let's go ahead and do that. Um, the first thing you see are samples of student work. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to jump to at the very end here. There we go, we'll just go right here samples of what has been done in the past um, for this class. Um, most of these are examples of the final project. So this is gonna change up. You get an idea of the kind of work that you'll be doing in here. We focus on the modeling. And for those of you um, taking Chris Wilson's class in animation, then we take those models and you begin to animate them. So let me go through these. Um, this was done by Catherine Rojo a while ago. Uh, kind of nifty little toy that she generated as her final project. Um, this was done just a couple of semesters ago by Ray Gabriel. And this too was a toy that he um, 
worked into his final project. And all of these right now are done in, in lightweight. This is a product piece. So not everything is restricted to toys or anything. It can be products. It can be characters. It can be environments. It can be all sorts of things. Okay, here is both a toy, kind of a character. And they're both products. Here's another example of a product by Brianna. Here's a character modeling by Victor Lopez. Okay. Um, this was done many years ago, but still one of my favorites of a product, very realistic product piece by Johnny Nader. And we have an exterior environment by Samuel Grow. So you, as you can see, there's a really wide range of possibilities for this class. There's a Timothy McKinney's Alien. We have a chess set, which is kind of a traditional um, project done uh, for 3D modeling. <clears throat> and we have Jessica French's um, Alien kind of character. Again, this is her final project. We have a gallery that was done by Punam a couple of semesters ago. And then the last one that I have here is a futuristic piece. Okay, so Kirk's classics, samples of previous student work. Um, how and where you can get in touch with me. Um, I would not use the voicemail. Um, this was intended when I was teaching online or rather teaching in class. Um, I do have a school email, but I'd rather that you not use it um, for this class. Um, my office hours have changed. Everything has changed due to the coronavirus. So let's move on to that. Um, where you can go, where I would recommend that you go under Kirk's classes, is that you go to um, weekly syllabi. And that's, I, I hope, is where you went today to gain access to the classes. So while I have a, um, uh, an 18 week syllabus, which is going to be changing, um, I have a weekly syllabus, which I think is more to the point, more important. And if you scroll down to ART 195 and ART 195B, you can see that I will be offering the webinars on Mondays and Wednesdays at 10 a.m. So, to give you an overview of what we'll be doing and maybe um, answer questions that you might have um, about the, uh, the assignments, then we, you can go ahead and go on the webinar just as you've done today and I will have recordings for them available. Um, it, when we're using Lightwave, the last version of the, the textbook that was available was version 10 and we are now on version 20. So they really haven't offered much in the way of, in, of, of tutorials or information in recent years. So that doesn't really help us a whole lot. So if you'd like to get a copy of it, great. If you don't, that's okay too. Okay, so pay close attention to this. The other thing that you'll want to do <coughs> is you'll probably want to go to up here, if we go to Kirk's classes, we go to the handouts page. And again, if you scroll down, <clears throat> this is where you'll have access to my 3D modeling for animation um, syllabus. This is also, if you scroll down here, this is what I've done in the past. Um, we've done a room and we're going, we've done a reboot character and a toy and a final project. This is changing this semester. So we're gonna start, we're gonna do the first half. We're gonna probably do the room, which isn't a full room, it's simply a, uh, a table and lamp. And then we set it up and, and we model it in modeler and we set it up and lay out and we light it and we surface it and we do all the necessary things to it. And then we um, render it 
And that will be your first project. The second project is that I take you through Lightwave step-by-step -step when we do a, a reboot character together, okay? And these tutorials are already available on YouTube and on Canvas. Um, I may or may not, depending on how long it takes us to do this, have you do the toy assignment. And at this point in time, this may take us close to midterm and may, we may switch to um, a blender at this time. And then we'll have a series uh, of, of tutorials or introductory lessons and tutorials, a couple of uh, tutorials to do in, in Blender. Um, for the advanced modeling class, this too has all changed. We don't do the scanning anymore. We don't do the printing because we're not in there anymore. So for those of you who are in my advanced class, you will be doing three projects. If you were with, with, with me last semester um, and we focused mostly on Lightwave, um, then what I will have you do is start with Lightwave. Um, you may have to reinstall it into your computer. And then what I want you to do is spend the next six weeks working on a custom project of your choosing. And it could be any of the, it would be very similar to the final project that we um, worked on last sem semester. Um, you're welcome to watch all the tutorials again to refresh your memory, what to do with Lightwave. But I want you to pick a toy, a product, maybe attempt a character, if you wanna do an environment, you're welcome to, and you will have the next six, six weeks to model it and uh, turn in two separate renderings of that, okay? So that's what you'll be doing for, the, for that project. But this, and traditionally, this is where all of my handouts have been found. But in addition to that, we also have um, Canvas, and you should have access to all of this right now. So what we have on Canvas, the default page is my syllabus. This is the link to the traditional syllabus that I've had, but this is a little bit different here. Um, here's a link, the link that I do want you to use for my email. I want you to email at Kirk, me at kirkmillerart at gmail.com. And again, this is where um, you can either use Kmart 66 or kirkmillerart.com to access my personal website. Again, here's what you see, you know, we seen on my personal website, required textbook, suggested reading, um, purpose of the course and that sort of thing. There is um, the mandatory orientation that I want you to watch. So again, if we were to go back to my website and we go under here, uh, Kirk's classes, here's my orientation video that is available on YouTube. And it also, there is a link for it as well. If we go to um, our modules in uh, uh, the uh, Canvas, and you'll see that the first thing that I have here is here's my syllabus, here's the orientation, and here is the orientation video addendum explaining what I'm changing up and doing differently this semester. And this video um, on YouTube was supplied by my colleague, Chris Wilson, on how to install Lightwave because it's really not a simple task. Make sure that you have it up and running and you should have full access to it for 30 days. And um, for the remainder of the, the, the this, the, until midterm, um, you will have to, to sign up for it again and reinstall it um, using a different email address is all. That's all you have to do. And if you want access to the introductory lecture that I gave last semester, which is similar to what I'm doing right now, you have access to it here and creating the table on lab. So this is giving us <coughs> you an overview of um, Lightwave and here's the, I started a blender table and lamp, um, not very successful, but um, anyway, these are the videos that I have for that. And then we started um, Mike, um, the reboot Mike. So this will take you through lecture 10. 
And then we, I went on to um, cover Boolean modeling and surfacing and lighting and rendering and all that sort of thing. And then you can continue, continue, continue. And then about where we went to head modeling, this is where we're going to stop. So these videos are already available for all of you. Okay, and these basically, you know, you can watch them in uh, Canvas or you can uh, go directly to my YouTube channel. Okay, so if you go to my YouTube channel, um, we can go to it right here. Uh, no, right here. And if we go to the playlists, the playlist that we would have for you, here's the orientation video, here's our 195. Okay, and here are the Blender tutorials. And if you click on here, um, here are all of them. Here's the orientational orientation video. Here's the LightWave trial version install. Here's my orientation lecture that I'm giving right now. So I will create a separate playlist. Here's the tour of LightWave and um, you know using priv primitives to build a table. Here's the lecture three, lecture four, and so on. They're already here. So if you want to start working on it today, you're welcome to do so. But before you do, what I want you to do, um, because all the work that you do in my class will be turned in um, on, um, can't, uh, no, no, it will be turned on, on uh, a Google Drive account. So what I want you to do is I'm going to go to, let's go back again, and I'm going to go back to, uh, let's see. Oh, I know what I have to do. I'm sorry. I have to bring this up. Let's bring this up from here. Okay, so here we go. So here is my Google Drive. And if you don't have Google Drive or you're not familiar with it, you'll notice that I have lots of folders for previous semesters and current semester, the current semester. The one that you'll be using is um, the ARP 195 Spring 2021. And I'm offering it on Mondays and Wednesdays. So what I need you to do is I need you to email me at kirkmillerart at gmail.com. And in the subject, I need you to put your name in full. I need you to put um, ART 195 or ART 195B. Um, and I need you to put um, uh, Google Drive. Okay. And then what I will do is I will invite you. And you can see that no one has signed up yet. But um, I have sent a couple of out to um, Rio Ferrer and um, Yvonne Martinez. Are you with me today, Yvonne? Um, and as soon as you are ready, then you what you need to do is you need to create a folder. You'll accept that um, invitation. And then you'll be, go inside this folder. And as I've done here, you will create a folder for yourself, just as I have done. And you do that by just simply right clicking, right -clicking on it, create a new folder. And then you'll name the folder with your name, first and last. Um, before I used um, first initial and last name, but I want you to put your full first name and your last name. Just go ahead and, um, and, and do that and make sure that I get that today. That would be great. Um, so that we can turn in, this is, you'll have a place to turn in files. Okie doke. Um, do you have any questions about that? No questions yet? Okay. So let me go back. I don't see any. Okay, so that's what we're going to do with that. Okay, and um, so that's how you will turn in your projects in Google Drive. What else have we got for today? Um, let's see, I've used that maybe a half an hour of our time here. So let me go back and I've shown you samples of um, 
of uh, student work, let me show you samples of what interests me and what I was working on last semester. So um, to give you an idea of you know, the kind of stuff that I'm interested in. And that doesn't mean that you have to do this. So <clears throat> um, I uh, decided to build, I, I do fine artwork um, and most of it is generated digitally, um, both two-dimensionally and three-dimensionally. Um, and since uh, everything has been closed down during the coronavirus or the COVID-19, whatever you want to call the darn thing during our pandemic, um, I decided to create a virtual gallery in Lightwave um, and put my artwork in it. And some of it I have had to recreate from scratch. Some of it, which was already digital, which was already 3D, I placed inside the gallery. And so this is my home shot. And then we can go in here. <clears throat> and here are different camera positions. Um, the work on the walls um, was actually printed and some of it has been framed just as you see it here. And I placed it inside the gallery. Um, this project here, with these tiles, um, all of these tiles have been created, but it has never been installed in a real gallery. They sit in a box inside my office. Um, so this is what I imagine it to look like if it were in a real gallery. Um, taking those files and put them in my virtual gallery. Um, here's another shot of that from a different angle. The, um, the images that you see here in the foreground with the, I call them my 3D selfies, um, these were actually, actually produced in, in Lightwave and they were printed with our 3D printer and stands were made for them. Um, and they exist in the real world and have been exhibited. So I took those and reimagined them in my gallery. Um, you can see there's the chair right here. It has never been imagined or never been realized, I should say, as a large um, chrome chair. And so I decided to do that. Um, you can do pretty much anything that you imagine in the 3D world. And so that's what I did. I took it and resurfaced it and resized it and I put it in my virtual gallery. Elephants were never this large and were never this uh, created in wood. They were created and printed, um, but I have um, again reimagined them as I would like them to be as a, um, a really large, large um, carved piece or printed piece made of wood. Okay, so there you have it. There's another angle, another view, my gallery. And again, a chair maybe made of wood instead of chrome. That's it. Okay. Do you have any questions before for me? Um, I have created a quiz for you um, on Canvas, but I goofed. So I need to today. Um, if we go into Canvas here and we look at um, the quizzes, where is the, here are the quizzes. Okay, you'll see I have an introductory quiz for the class, but I put the, quiz, the questions in there, but I did not put them in there um, in the in question form. I mean, you're welcome to do them this way, but I need to redo this. So I will do this today. Um, tonight, probably, and um, make it available for you. And it's basically um, questions to make sure that we're on the same page. So I, it would be a good time to probably go over them with you now. So, um, and I've already covered some of these. So I'm answering the, the questions for you, but I want to make sure that you know how we stay in contact with one another. So in addition to Canvas, what's the address of the website I use to provide content for all of my classes? That's kmart66.com or kirkmillerart.com. Either one works, okay? 
What's the email address I want you to use to communicate with me this semester? I have several email addresses, but I mentioned that a moment ago that um, specifically, I want you to use kirkmillerart at gmail.com. That's kirkmillerart at gmail.com. Um, where do you publish or post your files to be graded? They will be um, posted on Google Drive, just as I sh have shown you. So when you email me, um, your email address um, using kirkmillerart at gmail.com, I will invite you to that published folder for this class on Google Drive so that you can um, place your files there. And that will also, if you're working, have works in progress, not only finished files, but works in progress that you want to share with me and you want my help to troubleshoot, we can do that. Um, where can you find the times, days, and links to my live webinars? Um, again, that was my um, uh, weekly syllabi page on my website. And for this class, we meet Mondays and Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Um, is attending the live webinars mandatory? No, it is not. Um, it is optional. If you can, I encourage you to do that. If you can't, then you can't. If you have conflicting class times, and that's the way it goes. This is uh, class is offered um, completely online. Um, where can you find recordings of my webinars? Um, you can find them in two places. You can find them here on Canvas, and you can find them on my uh, my um, playlist that I've created on my um, YouTube channel. Okay. And where can you find links to my handouts? Again, that's to the handouts page on Kirk Miller Art. And you can also find it on Canvas in both places. So make sure that you understand how have access to everything for this class and how uh, all of us need to stay in touch. Um, that's what we have. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to um, pause the recording right now. Um, hold on here. I'm going to go ahead and pause. So um, since there are no questions, I'm going to go ahead and um, end today's webinar. I will post it in a new playlist on uh, my YouTube channel. Just for reference, so you have multiple things uh, to choose from, you know, multiple places to go. Um, I will modify the quiz later on today so that you can take that and turn it in. It is mandatory that you take it. Um, last semester, there were question, uh, questions by, people, by a number of students who were unable to get in contact with me that understand, didn't understand how the, the um, online class worked. So um, I'll do that and um, be sure to email me so that I can add you to Google Drive. Um, on Wednesday, what I will do is I'll probably repeat what I already recorded last semester. I will um, give you an orientation to, um, uh, to Lightwave, okay? Okay, doke. So if there aren't any questions, I'm gonna say goodbye and um, you're free to leave. Uh, and I'll go ahead and I'll pause the recording again and you guys are free to leave.